For the first time playing in Egypt, it, it means a lot to me. You know, I'm just very curious and excited to see everyone at the concert. It feels like a homecoming in a way. I never questioned my love for music. The music was always in the family. So I grew up with my mom in Belgium and she was playing classical the one moment, playing Arabic music the second, playing the Beatles and all in one hour. <laughs> there were like so many different kinds of music, I guess. It never made me question genres all too much. Sockets and smile, and it seems all alive. Back then, um, in uh, 2017 when I, I recorded the uh, first EP. I really was just a songwriter. Then I met the producers of, of my record. The moment we went into the studio, it was like our little hub of uh, creativity. We were like hermits. <laughs> we worked with some amazing musicians. I can definitely look at it as a representative work of who I was as an artist at that time. And I think we did really well. Songwriting for me is a subconscious process where you're exploring the subconsciousness and you don't know where, you're, where, where you will end up. I wrote uh, Habibi when I was like 18. I was living in Amsterdam for a couple of months by then. So I moved, to, I moved there for my studies and I was very alone and very confused into, in this big city. It was maybe one of the most natural songs I ever wrote. The words came along with the melody, especially in the chorus. And then the next day I do, I do remember thinking, eh, can I do that? Because I, I don't speak Arabic. The word came from somewhere and it came from a familiar place because I, uh, I, I know the word. Um, it's how my father calls me. I think it's a beautiful word. It just felt right. Of course, I didn't expect anything that's happened to be this global, that's been the most surprising thing so far, is the people reacting to it. Yeah, that's the biggest gift. There's a girl and she covered Habibi, but in her own way, in an uh, Arabic version. And she switched to French at the end. I was really uh, impressed. I sadly don't have memories of my grandfather. I only heard stories of him. I'm very happy that there's so much work of his that I can revisit, being able to see him, to hear his voice, to get to know him a bit in a way. Colin came to a concert of mine in Antwerp. We talked afterwards, which was of course a very lovely experience. Then asked him afterwards if he would want to play on a song of mine. I asked him if he would want to join us on tour, and since then he has joined us on yeah, many dates actually uh, so far. It's, a, it's a really an honor. We've done a tour in the US. Being away from home, that's kind of tiring after a while, but the concerts were always great. And of course the audience, they give so much energy back. The next day when you're in the van or in a plane or in the train, again, you feel energized to go to the next one.